A lot of people seem to enjoy our video last week, so this week's video is going to be in the same format. Today, we're going on a picnic. That's where the good smell comes oh, from. Oh, no, no, no! Oh. Yeah, that's me. Gage. What? I was gonna say, good to know I'm 13 inches wide. <laughs> that that's booby with it though. That's booby. No, my belly touching. <laughs> and this is Allie. <laughs> Quit digging my ass, Allie. See you later. Bye. And this is our YouTube channel. <laughs> <laughs> At the beginning of the week, we finished hanging all of the trim. that we were going to be able to cut our countertops ourselves and we did it and they looked really bad and burnt and so we actually found a local guy who cuts cabinets out of his home Oops. and we took them to him and got them cut and they turned out so good so much better than we could do After the guy cut them, we decided to bring them back to the house and I took wood glue to glue the edges together and he gave us these little tiny like oval biscuits to make sure that they stay together. And so we got them all screwed in and now I just have to finish it off with caulk. So when we were transporting it, we chipped it a little bit. Yeah. And the sink bit me and cut my finger. And the guy who cut our counters cut yeah. his finger open He cut his bad. finger bad. And so yeah, right now we are pretty much just like putting these little, they call them biscuits, these little pieces of wood in these grooves and we're putting some liquid nail. That way they will come together and yeah, stick together. We got to do this one. This is just a test fit. But it looks pretty good. Yeah. And so he recommended us to come through here with a little bit of caulking when we're done just to hide this seam. And so that's what we're going to do with this little crack right here. I mean... Goodness, I don't know what else to do, how to haul it. Like there's this so big that we just don't have nothing that will haul it like flat. So we had to like put it up on my tailgate. Be all right though. Right. this one glued. This one was harder. I don't know why. Because the test fit was like perfect. Yeah, the test fit was perfect and I guess with the glue in there, I don't know, it made, it made this one hard. But now we're just going to let it set overnight and then when we come back, hopefully it's all good. We can lift this up. I screwed some boards on the bottom of that one because this is not like perfect level and I can you know take the screws out and then we can come in and glue this bad boy down to the cabinets and put our sink in yeah we got our sink too we can actually let's show <laughs> here's our sink so our stove goes here 
Our refrigerator goes there, so we got a little U-shaped kitchen. <music> installed and we weren't there while the guy was doing it so we didn't get many clips of the install but we did get a few clips after it was installed and it's so awesome to finally have AC in there we actually can work in the cool and it's just so good Instead of buying trim for the ceiling, we decided to make our own trim by ripping it on the table saw. The reason we done that is to save money and also it's gonna match perfectly with our tongue and groove ceilings. <laughs> on filling the holes with wood filler for all of the trim and then the next day we went back and we sanded it all down so it was smooth and ready to paint. <music> cleaning we taped off the baseboards so we wouldn't get any paint on the floor and also caught the door frames and the window frames and then we noticed that our friend Buffy the bat on the back porch had brought a friend over <laughs> He has him. a girlfriend. <laughs> what are we gonna name? I don't know. I named Buffy, so you can name her. Okay, I'll think about it. After all that, we decided we needed to go to Lowe's to get some more supplies. So we're in Lowe's. We don't normally film our trips, but we got a lot of stuff with the finishing touches, so we can show you while we're here. Big Mamas. We got two brand new toilets, and we got all the little lock covers. For everything in the house, that's a lot. Um, we got new hinges because everything's going to be black in the house, so we had to get those. And we got all our piping and plumbing stuff for the kitchen, the bathrooms, like everything we're going to get it in. We got some caulk to finish caulking, and we got some rollers to finish the few things of paint that we need to do. So we're about set. 
So we were in line to check out and then we decided that we should probably go and see if they have a stove and a refrigerator in stock. And they had the refrigerator, but we had to order the stove, but we'll just wait on them to bring our refrigerator out right now. Yeah, we'll show you when they come out, but they're bringing it. We still haven't checked out. <laughs> nope. We were able to get the refrigerator installed this week, but we have to wait a few days before we can get the stove. And that's going to be it for this week's video. If you like it, make sure you give us a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already, subscribe. And make sure you follow us on Instagram at Gage and Allie. That's Bye. it. Bye. Why'd you do it? Why'd you cross the road?